Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. Welcome to the stream. Thank you guys very much for being here. Sorry that the stream changed identities at the last moment. It was going to be a uh, Cataclysm Classic beta stream, but the beta servers are down. So here we are. Thank you guys for showing up. Uh, let's see, I honestly don't know like how much Mythic Plus action is going to be happening today, the day before Season 4 goes live. But I guess we'll find out. Uh, we have a 16 key, Dark Heart Thicket. I think we're going to bump that down to a 14. And we're going to try it at a 14. Justin, Jackie, Stan, Trinity, good morning guys. Good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is where you are at. Thank you all for being here. Looking for someplace new to uh, explore? boop. And Try one more time. Too many dragons, okay? There we go. There's our Dark Heart Thicket plus 14 key for a Monday morning. There? Not what I thought I'd be doing. But let's see how it goes. Last time we did get our four piece. So yeah, we have our four piece bonus. It's basically, it's two paragraphs of text, which basically mean we do more damage. How much more damage? Eh, it's gonna vary. A lot of it is like AOE damage. So it should be good. I mean, 441 might be questionable. Might be questionable for a 14. Uh, what do we have here? Yeah, no, I, I don't want to. I don't want a 432. I'm definitely not part of a combo. Well, there, there's all of our DPS. Now we need the important rolls. Uh, we need taking heals. I have mail. I have mail. Last time we were on, I, I, I sold, I put a buy not equipped trinket, a blue trinket, item level 424 on the auction house. I put it on there for like 8,500 gold. I, I wonder if that sold. It didn't sell. It expired. Mm, I got excited for a minute. Let's let's go check this again. I put it for like 500 below the market price. Maybe everyone who had one up had way overinflated the value. I don't know, like on a classic marketplace, if you undercut something by that much, like it's going to sell. And here it didn't, so I have no idea. Maybe there are just like so many of them that nobody wants it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, see, well... Mine is level 424. I look here, like the 418 ones are going for cheap. But the 424 are now for 800 or 8,000. It seems like, yeah, maybe, let, let's just under, you know, I don't even care. I don't care about this item. I'll put it up for like 6,000. And, and I'll just destroy the market for it. I would just like to sell it for any, any profit. There, let's see. So we undercut by several thousand gold. Let's see if we can sell it. Undercutting by 500 didn't do it. Undercutting by 500 brought the market value down from 9,000 to 8,000, but it didn't get us the sell. Uh, oh, yeah. 
Tanks, tanks and healers. I, I kind of didn't know if today would be a day that like a lot of people were doing M+, like trying to get ready for tomorrow, or if today would be a day where like nobody cares. And it might be a day where nobody cares. That's why originally I had planned to play the Cata Beta this morning. Those plans didn't work out. But if we can't get any groups, I, I, I might have to pivot the stream into other content. In the meantime, I guess we can just enjoy the Theldraxxus music. Veldraken music. So they're at the stone. That's very ambitious. I I don't want to be at the stone until I have at least a tank or a healer. So what should we do if we can't do Mythic Plus today? What should we do instead? I'm going to delist and relist. This is really our only hope. Yeah, this is this is it. Alex, good morning, man. Hey, Alex. I, in a little bit here, if you're if you're like around, I I might have you invite my Tauren warrior in Wrath to the guild, so I can check out what uh, what bind on equips are in the bank. I I yeah, that might happen soon. I did a I did a search for any no one on the no one in the guild was on early this morning. Understandably so, it's like obviously the guild's kind of dead. But yeah, but I, I did a search for Wrathful Ramblers. Nobody was on, so so my warrior is still naked. I think he's like stranded in Dragonblade or something, completely naked without any weapons. It's a very awkward situation. Yeah, prob probably after this run, if if we get this run going, uh, I really don't. I don't really want the summon. I'll take it, I guess. Am I taking the Tauren Warrior into Cat? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'd love to. I would love to. I think like you know, I I played the Pally for a bit in the beta. I played the Mage for a bit in the beta, and then I played the Arms Warrior. And even though I know that, like, long-term, like, Arms Warrior may not be a thing I can do, like, in raids. I feel like I can get away with it questing, and I could probably get away with it doing Heroic Five Mans. It felt good, like, the button pressing feels really good. And the button pressing on the Paladin felt, uh, like, really stilted. I constantly felt like I was just missing two whole abilities. I, I didn't like how the judgments, like, judgments didn't do any damage, like, I just didn't really like the Paladin. And the Mage was okay. The Mage was okay. I think after playing... <laughs> and maybe this is what happens, and maybe Retail ruins other versions of the game. Like, after playing the Frost Mage in Retail, like, there was no way that the Cata Mage was gonna be fun. It was just gonna be, imp it's like an impossible comparison to live up to. So yeah, I, 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 I wanna take a Warrior in. The problem is, like, I don't really think I have time to level one up from scratch, like, during the pre-patch, you know? Like, I will probably level something when pre-patch comes out so I can see some of the zones. But I, I think, like, even if all I wanted to do was get to 60 and boost it, that, that would still take me a long time. Alex, you're playing hardcore right now? Dang. Really? <laughs> That's an interesting choice. I, I logged my hunter in the other day and I like basically I was in Dustwallow Marsh, didn't really have any quests to do, and immediately logged out. 
but I did log in for a second. I'm in your guild. SG Telash, I'm in your guild. Yeah, I'm in like a, I'm I'm in what I know of as a random guild. Yeah, I'm in a I'm in a guild that spammed me an invite and chat convinced me that I should join a guild so I can get the 15 minute cooldown on the Hearthstone. Uh, Cause I kept getting stranded at dungeons. Cause on the mage I had portals and on the paladin I didn't. So yeah, I joined this guild. If this happens to be your guild, that's, that's quite a coincidence. Khalid, good morning, good afternoon buddy. That's been a while. Thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. Man, we need a tank. We we might be we might be hard pivoting into some Wrath of the Lich King <laughs> Cataclysm prep. This this might go from being season four prep to being cata prep. Like soon. I, I wasn't sure if today was gonna be a day where a lot of people wanted to do Mythic Plus to prepare for tomorrow, or if it was gonna be a day where people took the day off. And it seems like, at least this early in the morning, that it might be a day where people take the day off. So obviously like a lot of stuff about mythic is going to change like basically all the rewards everything tomorrow is going to be better than what you're going to get today so it makes sense let's let here we go let, we're going to do this run we're going to do this run but then i think i might pivot into something else i hope you guys don't mind terribly uh i'll take i'll take oh well this guy this guy is not not immediately accepting my invite uh i will i will Click on everybody who wants to tank for this. Well, whoever accepts first. Either one looks good. Okay, here, who do we get? We got, uh... We got the monk. Okay. Yeah, we'll do this run, but I, I may... I may do some other things today, today on the stream. It may be a little bit of an irregular stream. A stream that doesn't fit neatly into, like, any one playlist or another. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and eat. I also have, like, some kind of weapon enchant, I think. Yeah, I have these howling runes that I was given. And I should probably apply one of these. To my weapon. We can do a little ready check rooney and we can get going. Yeah, exactly, Alex. Yeah, I, I wanted to... I was going to play the Kata beta this morning, but instead I may jump on the, the Tauren Warrior in Wrath, and I may I may play that for a bit instead. Especially if I can get it some uh, free gear out of the guild bank. Because, uh, he, like, like I said, he's naked. Oh, oh the tank wasn't ready. Oh, God. <laughs> I saw a bunch of check marks. I just didn't see that the tank... The tank's not even here. Do we need to summon the tank? I guess we didn't summon the tank. Yeah, it was weird. There's a maintenance message for tomorrow, but there was no there was no maintenance listed for today. But like, yeah, you know, it's beta server, so they they can just take them offline whenever they want. They they don't have to they don't have to tell us. I don't know where this guy's at. He's... He's somewhere. He says, I'm here. He said, I'm here in party chat. Uh, like, but he's not here. Slow load. He said, slow load, I'm here. I don't know what that means. He's clearly, he's clearly somewhere else. Someone else said, you're in Stormheim. He said, no. <laughs> Uh, here, I don't know, you guys can make what you will from this conversation. It could be that it's too early for me to make sense of this. Could be that I haven't had enough coffee. Hopefully they're doing a big patch on the beta servers and fix some of the major bugs. Yeah, like, you know, having health bars that show the actual enemy level and stuff like that could be good. Um, I guess we're all here now? Uh, I don't really know. This guy said he had a slow load. I've never heard of such a slow load as that. If that's how long it took him to load in, then I'm very, very worried about what his latency might be. I'm gonna do another ready check. I hope that's not a slow load. His loading, either his loading screen was going slow, or he needs to like, think about his diet. 
because he had a, he had a he was he had a slow load. I don't know, <laughs> could mean a couple of things. He has the game on a hard drive. Ooh, what the hell? Can you uh, can you purchase hard drives anymore with actual moving parts in them? Okay, it looks like we're good. I've had a solid state drive for like I feel like over a decade. Yeah, over a decade. I don't know how someone in 2024 could ha could have a could have a hard drive in a gaming computer. Long load. Okay. <laughs> uh, either way, we are in. We'll see how he does. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Why? Why me? I already have really good feelings about this run. <laughs> Colonel Boom, are you still rocking a hard disk drive? Oof. Like, I understand having a hard disk drive for, like, storage. But I mean, like, having it be your main hard drive to run your games off of? Yeah, like, I get that it's probably still cheaper as a storage option. But not to run executables off of. That's, that's silliness. There are weird whispers in the audio track right now that I haven't heard before. I, I must have my volume up a little higher than normal, but yeah, if you have headphones on, you can probably hear like these creepy little whispers that are happening. Either either that or I'm going insane. Defiers. I can smell the nightmare in your blood. Be gone from these woods or suffer nature's wrath.
revilers. So it is you who have befouled these woods with a nightmare. Nightmare from you! I am the vessel of nature's fury! Not of bad. Savor it and pray you do not bad. me next. They will be more than prepared. For your true power rests in the nightmare. Marson, good afternoon. Blanzen, welcome to the stream, guys. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. It's funny, like, the concept that actually trying to kill enemies is, like, it's harmful to my overall DPS. Like, staying back there and killing those guys, like, super just harmful to my own damage output. <laughs> it, it makes sense, like, logically it makes sense, like, oh, I should kill these guys back here. But no, no, you don't really want to do that. Uh, you really want to be up with the tank where he's got more guys so you can AoE more people. And then, like, 15 minutes later, those guys will catch up.
Is there a range leash in retail? Not inside of a dungeon. Like out in the open world, yeah. But now when you're in a dungeon, it's, it's going to keep coming for you. Even an echo of my power was enough to overwhelm you. We uh, we had a we had a dead healer problem. Dead healer problems. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's we can't mount up because we're in combat. Okay, that was not what I wanted to do either. Good. <laughs> Thanks to me, the Everbloom music is stuck in your head. I mean, the Everbloom music is really good. Everything else about the dungeon, not so much. And the music, the music is multifaceted. It's not just like a single vibe, but every vibe it goes for, it, it turns out like being really good. I feel like we're doing okay. We're pushing like a hundred thousand DPS on a single target, so that's pretty good. I 
I guess I don't want to be the one up here pulling these guys, ideally. Fracture your feeble mind. Nice. Hey, overall that went uh, well, really victory. smoothly. We must, however, stay vigilant. And that's 14 uh, Darkheart Thicket. Xavius remains unvanquished. The enemy you fought here was merely his shadow. I feel like I feel like one more week <clears throat> and we could easily have gotten Keystone Master for season three. Do we need do we need fifteens for Keystone Master in season three or was it fourteens? I thought it was fifteens. I've got all blue. Blue feels good. I wonder like which keys we're gonna have to get in season four because they're making all those changes to how Mythic works. It's probably going to be like a plus four or a plus five key uh, for Keystone Master in Season 4. Since Mythic Zero is supposed to be like, like a Mythic 10. Like all of the plus keys are going to be like 10 times, so... Daniel, good afternoon. Karen, good evening to you. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. 
Uh, let's see, we got a Throne of Tides. I don't... You know, I don't really need a Throne of Tides. That's the problem. I really don't... I wish there was a way just to swap the key for, like, a different dungeon. Because I, I don't really need a Throne of Tides. Let's see if, uh, let's see if anybody has groups going for, uh, what about Black Rook Hold or Everbloom? Do I really, do I want to do Everbloom? No, I guess I don't really want to do Everbloom. Black Rook Hold, Galacron's Fall. There's a 14, 14 Black Rook Hold. Uh, Throne of Tides, 28, no thanks. I tell the Tsar, I tell the Tsar I'm good on. Waycrest Manor, I think I'm also good on. I mean, getting getting an Everbloom done in a high key would be nice. I just don't know, like, can it really happen? Probably not. Uh, Galacron's Fall 21. Sure, I'll sign up. I'll sign up for anything. You know, the likelihood of getting invited to somebody else's key is, like, not very good. But I will, uh, I will sign up. Yeah, yeah, I don't need Throne of Tides. Dark, our Dark Heart Thicket we just did. Everbloom 14. I feel like people have, people have much, much higher expectations than what I have. Like, I invite people to, like, high keys all the time with, like, much less rating than I have and much less gear score than I have. So people must be just, like, kind of really picky. It's so much nicer when you're just doing your own key. Otherwise, you just, like, basically everything is, every moment is rejection. Uh, maybe I could search like specific. Let's look for Black Rook Hold. That didn't. That didn't do anything. It's two different words. There we go. Uh, do there really is not a lot going on? People want to. If they want a smooth run, they should invite me. I hardly ever F up very badly. And, uh, and my damage is pretty darn good. Yeah, they should invite me if they want a smooth run. I don't know what else they could hope for. Not, I, I get, like, I get for, like, a higher key. Like, I would, I wouldn't get, expect to get an invite for, like, a 20 plus, but for, like, a 14? Come on. Common Austin, welcome to the stream, buddy. Thanks for being here. Sorry to hear about your account. Yeah, we, we may we may do something else this morning. Like, I feel like, you know, we got season four coming out tomorrow. Originally, I was going to stream the Cata beta this morning. I had the stream scheduled and everything, but then the Cata servers were offline, sadly. So, yeah. I might, uh, I might pivot. Maybe we'll go do some, uh, some, uh, Cataclysm prep. I, I have a level 73 warrior <clears throat> who's standing naked in Northrend right now. And he needs to get some gear. After playing the warrior in the beta yesterday, I, I kind of, I kind of really want to take a warrior into Cataclysm. The button pressing is really fun. And the button pressing being fun might be the only thing that gets me through the 80 to 85 content. Like, the leveling content in Cataclysm from 80 to 85, like... It's not... It's not incredibly fun. It's not very immersive. And I haven't read the quest yet. I'm hoping that when I'm reading the quest on live, that the quest, like, the lore will be a little bit interesting. But, like, the actual mechanics of doing the quest, 
like the objectives are really lame. So I think like having fun buttons to push is going to be the only thing that gets me through to where I can do like heroics and, and do LFR and stuff. So uh, the warrior seems like the way to go. Buy a level 80 boost for a level 73 warrior. Man, if I had money, don't don't think that I wouldn't. Listen, like if I had if I just had like a bunch of extra cash. Yeah, like I'm not against it, you know what I mean? Like cuz I know how to play the warrior and I, I saw I played it in the beta so now I have a good idea how it plays in the beta in, in Cataclysm. Yeah, if I had money, I would probably just boost it cuz boosting it would also get it gear. I think. Yeah, like boosting it would also get it gear and right now he's naked. He's got no gear, he's got no weapons. He's got nothing. He's got no gold. He's got no mats. <laughs> I, I think I stripped him down when I didn't think I was going to play him anymore. I stripped him down. I, I was trying to afford uh, the Tome of Cold Mother Flying for, for some alt. Maybe it was for the Rep Pally we eventually leveled up. But yeah, I, I sold all of his gear. So silly. I don't. I can't even afford Alex. Like I can't really even afford the green gear because the green gear is not. It's not super cheap. I looked, and I'll have to look again, but yeah, I did look at, like, green, like, you know, like, level 68 gear or whatever, like, pre-Northrend crafted gear, and it was all pretty pricey. I don't, I don't have a lot of gold on that server at all. I don't have a lot of gold, period, in life. So, yeah, so, like, I, you know, I either have to get him equipped and level him up, or I could, I don't think I have time to level up a warrior from scratch. You know, if I if especially if I'm waiting for like the Cataclysm pre patch, because pre patch is only going to be like three weeks. Yeah, there's unless I want to unless I want to keep doing my own key. There's really not a lot I'm gonna be able to get up to. If I spam dungeons, I would like you mean like if I if the Kata if Kata pre patch goes live and all I do is tank dungeons, you think I could get to uh, to 80 before the game comes out? Yeah, but like maybe. But listen, like to do that, yeah, like what I'd have to play like I'd have to play that character like three or four hours a day. And, uh, potentially I'm gonna have other stuff going on, that's the problem. Like, how long do you guys think it's gonna take for me to get Keystone Master? Like, do you think I could get, you think I could get Keystone Master, uh, by the end of the weekend? <laughs> the only way I have time to play a character, like, four or five hours a day, uh, in the pre-patch for Kata is if I can get, if I get this character, Keystone Master, like, by the end of the weekend. Because that's my goal. My, my goal right now is to get Keystone Master for Season 4. So that's my, that's my prior, that is my priority right now. My priority right now is get Keystone Master for Season 4. It's the last season of Dragonflight. Like, this way I can go into War Within knowing that, like, I, I am a Mythic Plus player. <laughs> I, I have done Mythic Plus. Yeah, Keystone Master, because it doesn't seem like, it's, that doesn't seem too hard. Like, I, I feel like with another week, I could have got there on, on this guy. And this guy, this guy started with nothing. He started with nothing. And, like, I, I got, like, and I didn't push very hard. There were several days that where we didn't even play. So, yeah, I feel like if I can get it by the end of the weekend, or, like, maybe Monday at the latest, then the Cata pre-patch comes out, then maybe I could level a warrior, like, on stream and maybe get him... But is that going to take up all my time until the 20th? Because that's a lot of freaking time. I don't know if I can do that. I don't know. And it's not its not really the way I want to experience the pre-patch. Like, I'd love to level a character up through pe through the pre-patch, but I'd like to be reading the quest. I'd like to see the horde, the horde side zones specifically. Like, I've seen a lot of the alliance zones play in retail, but I haven't seen a lot of the horde zones. So I'd like to read the quest and stuff. I could get it on my mage. No, I couldn't. No, I couldn't. <laughs> oh, you mean, you mean, I thought you were talking about max level and wrath. You mean, uh, Keystone Master. Yeah, you mean, yeah, you mean Keystone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I can get it on one character for sure. I, I don't think I, I think my mage, no, my mage is not, um, I don't think my mage is this far progressed. I think we have more high keys now on the pally than we do on the mage. 
let's see. I'm also not- the mage is harder to play, I'm not as good at the mage. The mage is really fun, but it's gonna have to be my second- my second mythic character for the season. Uh, let's see. Yeah, see? Like, not- like... Overall- overall, my rating is better. But it's not- it's not rating based, is it? Isn't it like you have to get a certain key in every dungeon? My rating is better, but I don't even have as many, like, high keys. And also... My, well, my gear score might be a little better. 457. Yeah, I'm a sweaty Mythic Plus player now. I don't think he... But the thing is, like, Keystone Master isn't that sweaty, though. Keystone Master is only sweaty from the perspective where, like, you, you, know, you don't play Mythic Plus. And then, like, yeah, then it seems sweaty. Yeah, like her rating, it's because of these ones right here. <clears throat> like if I if I had like 12s of all this, it'd be much higher than the mage. The the Pelly screw because he can't go back and do tyrannical weekend. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not I'm not trying to get it this season. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not worried about this season. We'll we'll get it next season. But I want to get it as quickly as possible to free up my time to do other stuff. Yeah, no, I, I don't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna worry about it for season three. Uh, see, and in season four, like the keys will all be different. I think it'll be like plus five keys we'll have to do to get uh, maybe like plus four, or plus five keys to get Keystone Master. I haven't seen any like exact numbers yet. So, uh, okay. Well, what we'll do? What, let's do. Let's do one more. Uh, what I have something. You know, I don't really want this key, but. I will, I will post it anyway. I do, I do feel like it's a day where most people are just waiting until tomorrow. So. I have many lucky dudes that you like. Get that repair in. You know, the biggest problem is, like, if you if you like different versions of WoW, there's coming to be, like, too many things to do. There's, com there's coming to be too many things to do, you know? Like, you know, Season 4, the pre-patch for Kat is coming out. If you're playing Sod, then, like, you're probably neck deep in Season 3, or Phase 3. Uh, you, you got you got betas going on. You, probably the war within beta is gonna gonna go out within the next month or so. Where we're gonna be playing the war within beta. Patch ten point two point seven is gonna release sometime around the same time Cataclysm launches. So you're gonna have new story quests to do. Uh, in retail, you're gonna have the Mist of Pandaria remix to play. Like, there's about to be like way too many things. Priorities are hard. It's, it's hard to have priorities when there's so many different, like, versions of the game that you want to play. Yeah, yeah, retail, retail is great for solo players. If you count, like, solo queue as solo content, there's a lot to do. Even if you're just doing world quests and doing like world events and stuff, there's, there's a lot to do to progress your character. Yeah, it's like, you know, in, in classic, the solo content is the leveling journey and you know, some five mans. And that's that's the solo content in classic. It's a, it's a big journey, there's five mans to do, but you know, in, in retail, you actually have like solo end game stuff. Uh, I'm, hmm, what do I want here? I don't know what I want. I'll take the guy with higher rating. And now I need a healer.
in retail, you can do the old world up to level 60. You just have to take chromy time. You gotta take cataclysm chromy time. And then you can do, uh, you can do old world stuff all the way up to level 60. That's what I typically do when I level up a retail character. You know, until Mr. Pandaria Remix, then I'll, then I'll probably be doing that instead. I, I really, I really wish, like, in Cataclysm Classic, I wish that once you hit level 60, level scaling kicks in. And that way, you could stay in the old world up to level 80. That would be, like, my, my dream wish for Cataclysm Classic, for leveling. It's like, you hit 60, and then everything level scales to you. And then you can just stay in the old world and do old world zones until level 80 and then go into the 80 to 85 stuff. Uh, that way you don't have to, you don't have to go do Outland. That way you don't have to go do Northrend. Uh, like it feels kind of weird to go do those things, but also like if you could stay in the old world while leveling up in Cataclysm Classic, you could see more of the leveling zones. You can see more of the content. As opposed to hitting 60 and having to go to Outland when there's, you know, still like 50 zones you haven't done on your character yet that you could easily do if there were level scaling. That's like kind of the biggest bummer like when I think about leveling a character up in the Kata pre-patch and leveling up a character in Kata is like, yeah, I, I'd love to see some of the zone reworks and I would love to read some of the quests, but eventually the character's gonna hit 60 and then if I ever want to get them into endgame content, I'm gonna have to go to Outland. I'm gonna have to go to Northrend. And then come back and do the 80 to 85 stuff, and it's just like, ugh, I would rather, I'd rather not do that. I would rather, I would rather be able to stay in the old world, do all the remade content, like, all the way to 85. This, this, this dude is what my Tauren warrior in, uh, in Wrath looks like right now. He's just naked, he's standing there, he's got no equipment. And he's basically useless to everybody. Dave, you're about to go down this road, Mythics. How has my experience been? It's been good. Yeah, like keep in mind, like I, I've only really pushed like 14, 15, 16 keys. But I haven't really encountered any toxicity. Uh, I, I was fairly incompetent when I started and I, I feel like my skill has grown like over time. So yeah, it's it's been good. It's treated me pretty well. Uh, recovered items. Ooh, some random, random. Rec I don't know, like, where did it recover this from? It's so weird. That's his transmog. Yeah, his transmog is like shirtless. Yeah, he's just he's got no equipment. Uh, what are we looking for still? Oh man, we need a healer. We're like, no one's gonna heal this. This is what I mean. I think a lot of people are taking today off Mythics. I was planning to take today off Mythics as well. We just ended up here because I didn't know what else to stream. But yeah, we, we may pivot the stream uh, shortly here. The Cata Beta servers are down this morning. That was my original scheduled stream was Cata Beta. But the servers are down and there's no message about it. And so I might jump over to my Tauren warrior in, in Wrath. He's level 73. And he's standing around somewhere like in Dragonblade or somewhere, maybe in the Borean Tundra. And he doesn't have any gear or equipment. Because at some point I stripped him down and sold everything for gold. Because I didn't think I'd ever play him again. That was a mistake. Big mistake. So I might level him up for a bit today. Uh, failing, failing really anything else to do. I don't, I don't even know if I want to get summoned to this. 
I don't want I don't want to get a summon until I have a full group because I don't know if we're gonna get a full group. I, I don't want to summon. Please don't summon me. Be sad, dog. Good morning, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. Uh, okay, here we go. Let's let's grab him. Let's do this one. I, I think maybe after we after we run this one, I I may take a little lunch break and come back and uh, do some Kata prep in Wrath of the Lich King. That may that may be what I do for a little bit this afternoon. We'll, we'll see how this run goes. See how I'm feeling. Now I could really use that summon. Where's the summon now? I'd love to get one. Kashi, good morning. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. Now I am not going to get a summon. You only get one summon. Uh, we are going to the Throne of Tides. Yeah, counterfex, yeah, that can be true, yeah. It's nice to see, like, just, like, pretty stuff, you know? Retail's very pretty. What, what I enjoy about retail graphics is, like, mainly the character customization options. Like, that that's, like, my biggest thing. It's, like, I, I don't feel like, it, you know, in, in Classic, there's not a lot you can do to customize your character. You're pretty limited. I'd love to see, like, some low-res versions of, like, some some retail options, like, make their way back into Classic. That would be cool. Uh, I, I'm assuming like everybody's here. Let's go ahead and step in. Uh, we'll eat some food. I don't have any flasks, files. That's uh, that's a mistake. I do have a weapon. Weapon runes, but yeah, I feel like I already have one going, so we're still good on that. Let's do a ready check. And yeah, we'll see how this goes. Level 16, this will be the highest one that we've done on this character. This, yeah, 16 should be the highest. So we'll see. Hashtag no changes. Yeah, I I heard that they might be giving uh they might be giving Torin paladins in Sod. I read like some kind of I read something that indicated that they might they think that they might end up giving paladins uh, Torin paladins in Sod. I'm assuming if they were to do that, they would uh they would give uh, dwarfs shaman. That'd be cool. You think it'd be a next season thing? Mid season be too weird? Yeah, I mean you say that, but like think about all the things that have changed since phase one. Like the entire plan of what Sod was supposed to be, how Sod was supposed to flow, has changed. Do you remember when the only level brackets that were ever supposed to get a XP increase were the prior level brackets? 
Like they've they fundamentally have changed like how the season is played and what the season feels like. So I don't know. I, I don't think it's beyond. I don't think it's beyond their potential. Just because, like I said, like the whole season has changed, like from how it felt in phase one. They added those PvP PVE events that felt like that was kind of a big deal. Like I don't know. Put in <laughs> put in it now. Now when you say like that, yeah, like demon hunters, death knights. Yeah, a adding new classes would probably be something they would do in a future season. Yeah, but I think giving a race the option for a new class, like, that that might be possible. It would be cool to see, like, classic versions of, like, the Monk, the Demon Hunter, and the Death Knight in, in a season of Classic. Obviously to eventually be added to, like, a Classic Plus type of scenario, you know? If you were going to try to build those classes and build them in a classic way, like a season would be a good place to experiment with that. And then once you once you have it dialed in, just like permanently adding them to classic in, on like a classic plus server. And you got you got to think that with season of discovery, like they're gonna try some wacky stuff at level sixty. I I hope they have some like wackadoo plans, like stuff you just would not expect them to try. Because why not? Like one, once you're in that like end game level sixty phase of the season, like you might as well just like try anything that you've thought of. Yeah, I mean, I feel like, I feel like, you know, 60 has to be open, what, like, you think maybe like another two months, maybe another month of they'll open 60? At this point, you know, you, you could probably level the character now, and you could just quest, and with the 100% XP buff, like, you'd probably be approaching 50, like, around the time that the level 60 band opens up. If you were just questing and, like, taking your time and, like, trying to, like, just, you know, do your thing. You could probably get a character just to about 50, and then like right around then... Right around then, 60 would probably open up. There's been no news in like a week? Yeah. I, I yeah. How long has Phase 3 been out? It's, it's been, it's been like not even a month, I guess. Maybe it's a little too soon to be thinking about 60, I guess. Favorite Mythic Dungeon so far? Um... Hmm, I don't know. I mean, as far as like the the current rotation, like I, I I like Waycrest Manor just for the vibes. I like Everbloom for the music and for nothing else. I don't know if I have a favorite though. My favorite Mythic Plus dungeon is the one that goes smoothly. I guess at this point, that's kind of how I feel. The one that goes smoothly where nobody leaves.
Would I want to do mythic raids? No, not really. No, I, I think if I if I did raids, I'd probably be happy doing heroics, like heroic raids. I I don't really I don't really like bigger group sizes. Like for me, like in a raiding situation, the ten man group size was always the best group size. We got we got a couple people dead, including the the tank is dead. Yeah, that that didn't last long. Um, I don't know what killed the tank. Something something vicious. Something very very bad killed the tank. The tank said, shit, my fault. <laughs> I have to agree with that. I like that we are we are planning our pulls. That's that's interesting. I like that he's pulling back and using line of sight. Oh dear god, um, shit, I don't even know what, what happened there, uh, we got sprayed with something. We got, we got blasted by something. Whatever it was, it was bad. Tank's about to go down again, ugh, shit. So I guess, I guess these pulls right here are very, very challenging. I don't feel like he's successfully line of sighting the, the back row casters. They seem to just be like hanging out back there and, and casting. I don't know, I don't know if that's what the problem is or not, but... They don't- the casters don't ever seem to come around the corner at us... ...the way you would want them to. Oh shit, we lost a healer. Damn. <laughs> oof. Big oof. He should pull the Ravager and, and pack by himself. Yeah, like... It's the- it's the end of the season. I, I like probably nobody wants this kind of uh, this kind of ordeal right now. I think people are, are saving their patience maybe for tomorrow. Maybe that's what's going on. Perhaps, perhaps. Let's see.
One second, guys. Alright, yeah. Uh, season 4 starts tomorrow. Does everyone start at Mythic Zero? Um, I think if you have a key, like, I, I, from what I understand, if you have a key, I think it becomes like a plus two key. I'm not like 100% on that. But your rating is going to be zero. Yeah, your, your rating is going to reset. As far as like what your key is at, I, I thought that like you keep the key, but it's like a, like a one or two key. I could be wrong though. This is my first season. I, I've never done Mythic Plus at all before Season 3 Dragonflight. So, like, going into a new season tomorrow will be, will be the first time that I did Mythics in one season and transition into a new season. So it, it's a new experience for me. But I, I feel like we keep our key, but it, like, it becomes a low-level key. It would also kind of make sense for everyone to have to do a Mythic Zero and just get a new key. Uh, but I can see why that wouldn't be the case. This is the last day for the season. Yeah, the season four starts tomorrow after the servers come back up. Looks like the servers will be up around two o'clock in the afternoon my time. So yeah, I'll be I'll be looking to stream like as soon as those servers come back up, we'll be getting into season four. And we'll be going for I'm trying I want to get Keystone Master by like the end of the weekend. So that I can I could have met that goal. Check that goal off my list. All right, guys, what I'm going to do right now, like, I, I think I'm going to be done with this for today. I'm going to take a lunch break, and when I come back, I'm going to hop on my warrior uh, in Wrath of the Lich King and uh, and do a little a little prep. Alex, if you're still here, man, do you want to invite my, war my warrior to the guild <laughs> before, uh, before I go bye-bye? And also, let's see. Let me let me check him out. But yeah, I, I think I'm gonna take a lunch and come back and do some cataclysm prep. Screen's gonna black out for a minute here. Let's go here. Let's do this. That's not the camera that I want. Let's fix that. Let's uh, grab him. Let's shrink him down. Let's move him back onto the screen. There we go. Coming back. Okay, that's that's a little better. Now why is that not working? Oh, OBS. You kill me. Properties. There we go. There we go. Look at that. We have light. We have life. We have Wrath of the Lich King. So yeah, yeah, I, I think that's what I'm gonna do. As you can see, this warrior is completely naked. He has no gear. He's been stripped of all of his... All of his belongings. All of his gold has been taken from him. And he has... He has absolutely nothing. So... Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see if anybody in the guild is on. Not right now. Yeah, Alex, if you want to toss me an invite, I will, I will see, like, what's in the guild bank, and then I will have to uh, see if I can afford whatever slots I need. He's been stripped of his dignity. Yeah, he's got a loincloth on. Like, at least he's got the brawler's harness. You know what I mean? Like, at least he's still got... Somehow he kept his shirt. I usually take the shirts off and sell them first thing, but somehow he kept his shirt. He's got some Nagrin cherries, like, great for underwater breathing. Uh, he's got some elixirs of mighty strength, a couple of scrolls, and some water, but yeah, he he doesn't have a lot going on. Uh, I don't even know, like, in his quest log looks bleak. Uh, Dragonblight, we've got a lot of stuff in Dragonblight. Where are we? We are not, we are not in Dragonblight, that's for sure. Dragonblight is this way. So yeah. So yeah, this, this is, this is my warrior that, like, you know, maybe I can take this character into, uh, into the Cataclysm. That that would be ideal. 
And then if I want to level up a character through the pre-patch, like, and see the see the remade zones, like, I don't have to rush. I don't have to feel like that I have to do it really quickly or play it for five hours a day uh, just to get him into the endgame content if I, if I have what I want to play, like, ready. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you. Uh, and now I guess I, I should get him. Um, you know what? He probably he can't he can't fly. There, he, there's no way he is flying, so he he can't fly. Um, he doesn't have the dollar on flight point. So how am I how am I gonna get to the guild bank? How how does one get to dollar on when one cannot fly? That's gonna be that's gonna be kind of an important question. He's trying to come out of retirement. It's still it's still questionable whether he's gonna make it. Cause he doesn't have cold weather flying. And I don't know if I can afford I I don't think I can afford to give him cold weather flying. There's a portal in, in Crystal Song. Oh god, I don't even I don't know how to get the Crystal Song on foot. That's the other reality. Is that the only time I've ever, ever been in Crystal Song Forest, I have flown down from Dalaran. Get him back to Orgrimmar? I don't even know how to do that at this point. Uh, let me see what kind of gold I have, like, on on our pally. I don't think I have, like, any way to support this character. I can't, I can't get to the guild bank from uh, Dalaran anyway, right? Do I have to be... Do I have to be... Where do I have to be to get to the guild bank? Do I have to be in Orgrimmar? I mean, if I if this character's in the guild, then I could grab some stuff and just send it to him. His hearth goes somewhere where he's questing. It was like a set. I think it was set right in the town that I was at. Uh, see, we we have we have z basically zero gold. You know what I mean? Like I got nothing good going on on this character. Um, these are bankers. This is the guild vault. Is is my character? Oh, okay, I say is my character not in a guild? Um, okay, okay, so there's some stuff here, like, I'm not gonna be, like, super picky about, about what I grab, but I, I'm gonna grab some stuff and then mail it to him, because mail is instant in Wrath, right? If I, if I mail my own character stuff, I'll get it right away. Uh, level 66, that's kind that's intellect. I wish there was a way to just, like, level sort this. I'm gonna send him the shield. I don't. I don't know if we'll use it. Requires level seventy-seven. He's not level seventy-seven yet. Level seventy. Level seventy. Uh, I already have boots. Mail is instant. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, level 70 gloves. Okay. 74 pants. Yeah, he's not 74 yet. It's close. Two hand level 35. I'm going to end up having to buy him a weapon. Uh, level 72 shoulders. Yep, yep. I'll take those. That's level 75. It's, we're not quite there yet. I think those might be better than the boots I had. Let's put the defense rating stuff back. You have a, a blue two-handed mace, Alex? I, I'd love to have that. Because otherwise it looks like I might be... I might be buying a weapon. Uh, a belt? Yes, I'll take the belt, even though it has defense rating on it. I'll, 
take the wrist, even though they have defense rating on them. And I think that's like as good as it's gonna get. He he's still gonna be in rough shape. Uh, he still needs rings. He needs a neck. He needs trinkets. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Ogremar, and we are gonna see what's on the auction house, and then probably just like be very sad about the prices on the auction house. And what's the Tome of Cold Weather Flying? Isn't that 5,000 gold? To buy a character with the Tome of Cold Weather Flying? He could probably learn flying normally. Like, wh what level do you have to be to learn flying in cold weather without the Tome of Cold Weather Flying? Because he's level 72. I feel like he's he's got to be close. This is the Mancrick server, which is a horde horde populated US East server. All right, so yeah, like my, let's get the worst part out of the way. Like let's look at uh, trinkets. Cause trinkets are gonna be the worst. 70 to 72. I should just do like 68. Hey. I don't know, like, uh, Dark Moon cards, I don't even know. Are these okay? Like, they're probably okay, but that that's still kind of expensive. Yeah, I'd like something with maybe just, like, some stats on it. 10% chance when hit. Okay. I might just grab one of these. I'm, I'm gonna grab uh, one of these. That, that these are gonna not be—they're not good, you know. Like they're probably not good, but it's um, I can afford—I can afford the one. I don't think I'm gonna buy a second one. Um, rings also, like, we didn't, we didn't get any rings out of the bank. These are all just going to be really bad. Band of the Champion, I have to grab that, that's pretty good. Um, yeah. This just has a socket on it with hit rating, like, oh god, okay. Attack power, like sure, let's just grab an attack power ring. Why not? It can't get much worse. Neck. Agility stam. Agility. Agility stam. Attack power, okay. And then I think also uh, a cloak. Of the bear, okay. Yeah, I think that might be as good as it gets. That might be as good as it gets. Let's grab this stuff and then we'll send it over. Oh, a weapon. Alex, you said you had a weapon. Did you want to put that weapon into the guild bank and I can I can grab it out? Or are you trying to bribe me for it? Or you can see that I don't have a lot of money and I don't even have a special set of skills. So there's really not much I can do. You sent it to the warrior already. Okay, awesome. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm assuming though that's gonna take a while though, right? Do, do you think that's gonna? Do you think that's gonna? That's gonna take like an hour, right? Uh, I should send some gold. Yeah. 
just in case I can get him like cold weather flying at some point. I don't I don't even know where I would try to train it. I guess in Dalaran. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mail takes a little while. What what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll see if there's like a green that I can run with for the time being. There ought to be just like a cheap green I can grab. Uh two-handed axes. Shit, okay, well. Okay, here we go. Um, 72. Strength and spirit? Yeah, like, why not? I don't even know, I don't even know if he has mace weapon skills. I, I have no idea what his weapon skills are. He's about to have mace weapon skill. You can buy Cold Weather Flag for 1k. Oh, it's only 1k? I can't anymore! <laughs> Not anymore, I can't. I sent all my gold away. Alright, let's let's go see. Yeah, let, let's let's go check it out. I'll I'll hearth back to I think I'm done here. I'll hearth back to Dalaran. We'll check out the I can just I can send the gold back, you know, it's not like a big deal. If I if I can just buy I thought the book was five thousand. Which is why I, I didn't think that was an option for us. I have no idea where I'm going here. Okay. Let's go check the guy and see. Okay. Yeah, I can, I can, it's a thousand. Let's, let's... Jump back over. Let's grab our mail. I think I think I forgot boots. <laughs> Dude might not have any boots for a minute. He doesn't have pants. I could have swore I I just like I thought I had these things. Okay, <laughs> we're almost there. We're getting there. Let's let's send the mail back. Um, I don't even know my paladin's name. Yeah, it's and it's not it's not auto populating. What a pain in the ass. <clears throat> Why would it not auto populate? I just sent mail from that character. It should be at the top of the list. Ramblina with a Y. Okay. Glenn, good morning, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. Okay. Uh, we'll send we'll send a thousand back. I could have swore there was like, there's got to be some pants in the guild bank. Was, it, was I just not looking for pants? There's got to be some pants. Pants and I thought I could have swore I grabbed boots. Okay, so that's all, that's all the gear. Um... Yeah, maybe there were no pants. Yeah, plate. Here we go. Yeah, there, there's pants here. And I could have swore that I, I had a pair of boots, too, that I sent. So weird. 
Um, yeah, that's that's fine. Okay. Dustin, good afternoon, buddy. Hello. Uh, let's go here. Yes. Coming together. He might get to live again. He might get to live. That's the wrong way. Seventy four. <laughs> Shit. Okay, yeah, I can read. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. All right, there we go. Cold weather flying is in effect. Uh, he's good. He just doesn't have pants. I, I can fix that problem with a little bit more running around. So yeah, uh, guys, what I'm going to do is I am going to take a lunch break here. I'm going to go have some lunch. I will schedule a stream for about an hour from now, my time, around two o'clock my time. And we'll uh, we'll play this character a bit. I, I, I'm assuming that nobody's doing dungeons, you know, like I'm, I'm kind of assuming like if I put myself here... 20 minutes to so yeah, we'll queue up, but we'll mainly just be doing some quests and I want to see like is it possible for me to get this guy ready uh, In any kind of time for cataclysm launch on May 20th. We'll see uh, Thank you guys for being here and hanging out this morning. I really do appreciate it Hope to see you again this afternoon and as always take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other And we'll see you back in Azeroth again very soon. Bye for now <laughs>